a group of scientists were able to train human brain cells grown in a dish how to play the 1970s video game Pong. The scientists used a system called Dish Brain, which includes 800,000 neurons from human donor stem cells, as well as brain cells dissected from mice. These cells are laid on a silicone chip, which was able to read the feedback they produce, while also producing feedback of their own to teach the cells how to control the in-game paddle. Since no reward-based incentive systems like dopamine were available, a system based on the free energy principle was used. This principle states that brain cells try to reduce unpredictability in their environment as much as they can. So whenever the cells would miss the ball in the game, they were bombarded with a chaotic, unpredictable stream of white noise to punish them, so to speak. Whenever they hit the ball, they were rewarded with an organized burst of electricity. This was all done to teach the cells what was desired or undesired from them within the game. And as a result, the system was able to learn within minutes. Scientists are looking forward to use these brand new discoveries in interesting new fields. One such future use is the implementation of lab-grown neurons into computer chips to produce superior and more adaptable machines. Another use would be to use brain cells to safely and accurately test the effects of drugs on the nervous system. Architecture student Andre Ford has proposed a new system for chicken farming, which he claims is more humane and much more efficient than current farming methods. In what he calls the headless chicken solution, Ford proposes that the cerebral cortex of farm chickens should be removed, removing all their senses and rendering the chickens practically brain dead, so as to spare them the terrible unpleasantness of their existence. The brainstem would be kept in, of course, so that normal homeopathic functions like breathing, heartbeat, and growth still occur. The chickens will then be stacked in vertical farms with their feet cut off to provide space to stack more chickens. Tubes would be connected to their esophagus to provide them with food, water, and nutrients, and tubes in the other end will take away waste. However dystopian this proposed system feels, Ford claims that it is still much more humane than the current methods, where chickens are kept tightly in broiler houses not seeing sunlight throughout their 7-week lifespans. In this method at least, the chickens are oblivious to their terrible living conditions, as they are practically vegetables. Another advantage for this method is that the chickens can be stacked much more efficiently. The current numbers of chickens in broiler houses are 3.2 chickens per cubic meter, while the proposed vertical farms would be able to keep as much as 11.7 chickens per cubic meter. The Ouroboros stake is a concept idea developed by American scientists and designers. Using a kit, anyone can grow their own lab-grown steaks at home using cells harvested from the inside of their own cheeks. The cells are then fed serum from expired donated blood, which would have otherwise been disposed of. The result are bite-sized pieces of meat grown from your very own cells. This concept was proposed and designed to protest normal lab-grown meat, which despite claiming to be 100% harm and cruelty-free, still relies heavily on fetal bovine serum which is derived from the blood of calf fetuses after their mothers have been killed off by the dairy and meat industry. Another startup creatively playing around with the idea of lab-grown meat is Bite Labs. Bite Labs intends to provide consumers with lab-grown meat that tastes exactly like their favorite celebrities. Tissue samples would be provided to the company from select celebrities, which would be used to culture and grow artisanal salamis, which would taste like your favorite celebrities. Unfortunately, the dream of eating your favorite celebrity will most likely remain a dream, since the company found very little success in rallying A-list celebrities to collaborate with them, and looks to have gone out of business. Its main website redirects to an unrelated one, and no news of them has surfaced on the net since 2022.